All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking an over-the-top beautiful postcard perfect midsummer day here in the end times in paradise down here and uh we're sitting here in doomsday trailer here on this glorious i think 82 degree january day it is now friday january 26 2024 and uh still well, the full moon peaked last night, but it's still going to be another full moon for all intents and purposes tonight. So, tonight, starting in about two hours from now, I am going to uh, do something I have not done in... Uh, last time I tripped, when was that? I Was that in St. Croix? Anyway, it's been, uh, it has been at least six years since I have tripped on mushrooms, but uh, I am going to enjoy checking in with the mushroom guide tonight in a couple of hours to uh, talk about the path with heart. Unfortunately, I only have one gram of dried psilocybin mushroom available. I would like to have about three grams to have this discussion, but we will see what, uh, what one gram, a one gram conversation with the mushroom god about uh, taking the path with heart and when the universe does not allow you to take the path with heart and forces you to take the uh, path uh, of, of mind, of mind over heart. And so what's going on, uh, I'm sure you guys will get a huge laugh out of this. Is this the second or third time that uh, th that Hambone has simply had it d just where he cannot stand it one more minute and one more time ha has blocked Dulcinea out of his life. Uh, last night was was the final straw with trying, uh, you know, after four and a half years of, uh, of sticking to the path with heart, trying to uh, convince Dulcinea that uh, she is my doomer chick forever and that we need to spend the rest of our lives together in each other's arms. Uh, that uh, once again, is it the second or third time that, that I have now uh, blocked uh, the woman who uh, I, I love more than any other woman I have ever met since the day I was born, I, you know, good God, having to block her off of email, block her off of Skype, block her off my cell phone, kicking her off of both of my channels, uh, just trying to cancel uh, the, this albatross around my neck. Uh, who has been causing me so much uh, disruption and chaos in my life for the last four and a half years and has kept me from, uh, you know, being able to pursue a relationship with a woman who wants to be with me, who, who appreciates 
uh, and, and wants what I have to offer her. Uh, Dulcinea is, is clearly not this woman. And I, I simply, one more time, need to get her out, uh, at least out of best I can, out of my fucking mind and uh, get my goddamn heart and my life back. But uh, we will see if, it, if maybe the third time uh, is a charm and uh, I, I can get her out of my mind at least uh, long enough to open my heart up uh, to, to offer a space for a, a healthy woman, uh, preferably one who is not married, and preferably one who is not suffering from border personality disorder, otherwise known as being batshit crazy. Uh, but, but, you know, I, I, w w with all of the analysis of, of why I cannot get this woman out of my mind, who I have not laid eyes on this woman uh, in, in two and a half years. I, I have not laid eyes. I, I, I have not seen a picture of uh, uh, of this woman in two and a half years, and uh, the the hold that uh, that that she has over me. But uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm just t t trying to self therapize here I give myself uh, you know going doing all of this research uh, on the absolute horror of being in a relationship with a borderline personality woman and, and just uh, not not even counting a married one you, you, you know, it's like I'm not satisfied with setting myself up with failure by falling in love with a goddamn married woman. But a married borderline personality, like, what the fuck were you thinking? But that's the problem. What I was thinking has nothing to do with the equation. You know, my... My whole life, uh, I have generally followed the dictum of uh, follow your heart. Uh, my mother uh, always raised me and her children to follow our hearts. Uh, just as a general rule, uh, when, you're, when you're figuring out any path, uh, it, it is the classic path with heart, and so we are going to be, you know, then of course I got into the, the, uh, the works of Carlos Castaneda and the teachings of Don Juan back in the 1990s and uh, really solidified, so... I'm sure some of you have heard this, but it, 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 it's, it, it, it's nice to revisit this long quote from Castaneda quoting uh, Don Juan Matus uh, explaining to Carlos Castaneda about following the path with heart. And this is one of the major values that I try to run on in my, in my life, particularly, good God, uh, in, in the last 15 years, that uh, whenever I am, con whenever the universe puts in my path 
a, a, a puts in my path a, a path that uh, where I have to uh, decide between following the path with heart or following the path of mind, uh, always take the path with heart. This is why I am sitting here uh, in this single wide trailer at the end of this rutted out dirt road uh, instead of living in a beautiful home in South uh, Austin, Texas, you, you know, probably making $200,000 a year. It is because that path was not the path with heart as the mushroom god and the San Pedro god and the ayahuasca god drilled into my head. I had to decide um, in, in 2008, once and for all and forever, what path am I taking the, the rest of my life? Am I, am I following my head and, 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 and staying in this beautiful home, uh, making all of this money, living in material comfort, or am I going to take a chance and like the uh, fool in the tarot card, you know, the fool is my, uh, is, is my major arcana tarot card. Am I going to step off of the cliff and let the universe let go of the bank and let the universe carry me along as I continue to follow the path with heart. So this is the, uh, the actual full context quote of Don Juan talking to uh, Carlos Castaneda. We'll take it away, Don Juan Matus. <clears throat> Anything is one of a million paths Therefore, you must always keep in mind that a path is only a path. If you feel you should not follow it, you must not stay with it under any conditions. To have such clarity, you must lead a disciplined life. Only then will you know that any path is only a path, and there is no affront to oneself or to others to dropping it if that is what your heart tells you to do. But your decision to keep on the path or to leave it must be free, be free of fear, or ambition. I warn you, look at every path closely and deliberately. Try it as many times as you think necessary. Well, I have now tried it three times following the path with heart with Dulcinea. This question is one that only a very old man asks. Yes, uh, does this path have a heart? Does my love for Dulcinea have a heart? Does this path have a heart? All paths are the same. They lead nowhere. They are paths going through the bush or into the bush. In my own life, this is Don Juan speaking, I could say I have traversed long, long paths, but I am not anywhere. Does this path have a heart? If it does, the path is good. If it does not, it is of no use. 
Both paths lead nowhere, but one path has a heart, the other does not. One makes for a joyful journey. As long as you follow it, you are one with it. The other will make you, you know, meaning the, the one of, of obviously what's he implying, the path with mind, if you listen to mind, if you listen to reason instead of your, your intuition, that path will make you curse your life. One makes you strong, the other weakens you. Before you embark on any path, such as the path of a new love affair, if the universe puts someone in your life and you are deciding to embark on a new path with someone that the universe has put in your life, before you embark on any path, ask the question, does this path have a heart? If the answer is no, you will know it, and then you must choose another path. The trouble is nobody asked the question, and when a man finally realizes that he has taken a path without a heart, the path is ready to kill him. At that point, very few men can stop to deliberate and leave the path. A path without a heart is never enjoyable. You have to work hard even to take it. On the other hand, a path with heart is easy. Yeah, right. It does not make you work at liking it. Uh, but, but there is a fundamental flaw in, in, in this particular uh, teaching uh, of Don Juan. And the fundamental flaw uh, it, it, it is the one that, uh, you, you know, I've talked about the, the teachings, one of the great teachings of my, uh, my mother, Elaine Mitchell, and that is any time you base your happiness on the decisions of another person, you are setting yourself up for heartache. And what Don Juan uh, does uh, that I don't remember, uh, maybe you can find uh, an appropriate quote to send me, you, you guys listening to the teachings of Don Juan and Carlos Castaneda, is, is, is this very notion is when, you know, it, it, when it's, it's one thing when uh, your, your path is your career, uh, your path is money, your path is uh, a, a spiritual existence over a material one. When you're the only one that you have to consider when choosing the path with heart, it, it can still be painful as hell, you know, walking away from a beautiful home, walking away from a, uh, a, a, a more than comfortable income, walking away from uh, all of these nice things money can buy, you know, making all those choices when you are alone is difficult enough in itself, as Don Juan says, uh, very few people even make that choice. 
But uh, it, it, so in that case, even as hard as it can be to, to follow the path with heart, and, and as much as your brain is screaming at you, as much as your friends and everybody else are telling you you're fucking crazy, uh, it, as, as much as that little dog that looks just like Sancho Panza it, it is barking at the fool uh, that he tags along with, uh, warning the fool uh, on the fool card that you're getting ready to step over a cliff. Uh, when you're the only one stepping over the cliff, uh, as hard as it is, you can still do it. And, and, and I think I do a pretty good job of following my heart. It has, it has made me suffer tremendously uh, following my heart. But what I encountered with Dulcinea four and a half years ago was that uh, that my path with heart was 100% dependent on her looking at her path with me and reaching the conclusion that uh, being with Hambone uh, instead of being with her husband uh, was was following the path with heart and, and not the path uh, of her mind. And, and, and as I say all the time, just, just said it, it is batshit fucking crazy, mentally ill, borderline personality as, as the woman I love is. Is part of the reason that 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 I love her as much as I do is that borderline personalities are, are you, you know they're a dangerous game when uh, you, you know the highs uh, are, are so magnificent, uh, but but it was it was dependent on someone with borderline personality who was married to uh, a, a man that, that ticked off uh, everything uh, that her head said, check, 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 even though my guess, uh, and I will still believe this, I will believe this to the day I die, that uh, that Dulcinea loves loves me more than she loves her husband, but she she understands that uh, leaving her husband, uh, you, you know, also means uh, as as I did uh, in two thousand eight. It it means leaving that uh, that stable, comfortable. Uh, material lifestyle behind and, and, and embarking on uh, 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 out there into the unknown uh, 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 on a path with heart. And so uh, uh, she, she is going to choose, she is not going to choose the path with heart which is the path with me instead of the path uh, w w w with her husband. And uh, in, 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 in all of the borderline personality stuff, uh, the, the more and more I research this, uh, be, you, you know, borderline personalities and certainly uh, being in a relationship with a personal, uh, with someone with borderline personality, even to the degree I have been in a relationship with this woman for four and a half years, uh, it, it, it's hell. It's hell. But, uh, you know, actually reading, uh, you know, experiences from men 
uh, on the internet that I'm that I'm finding, you know, men who are in relationships with these with these women, uh, you know, warning, uh, warning any man uh, falling in love with uh, not not even a married woman f falling in love with an available. Uh, borderline personality disorder that you're, you're you're just setting yourself up for a lifetime uh, 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 of chaos, drama, heartache, uh, and but but they also say when you get one of these borderline personalities in your life that. When it is working, when the relationship with a borderline personality woman is working, there is nothing on the planet like it. It is the greatest love uh, that you are ever going to experience. You will know that you are with your soulmate, your twin flame, your doomer chick forever, or whatever, and, and you're going to have these moments of absolute ecstasy that you cannot find in a non-borderline personality uh, disorder woman, that they bring something to the table th th that, uh, quote, normal women cannot bring the flip side being that uh, for for every uh, for every minute you spend in ecstasy you you're, you're gonna spend a, a week in hell that uh, it, it, it it could just make your life a living hell uh, and, and this is, it, 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 but what they're talking about in here is you are going to have a major battle uh, between your head and your heart. If, if you get in a relationship, if you fall in love with, with, with one of these women, if the universe puts in your path starting a new path with, with, with a borderline personality woman uh, you, you know and, and you and, and you choose the path with heart uh, when it's working it, it, it's going to be heaven but uh, when it ain't and uh, so then that got me into uh, going into Googling. You know, I've gone from Don Juan, follow the path with heart, and then I've been, you know, going through uh, uh, how to be in a relationship with a, a uh, border personality disorder woman. And so now I, I'm over here Googling following your heart versus following your head and uh, this uh, I'm just going to share a, a few quotes that I got uh, that I found googling following your heart versus following your head the lead quote research has shown that decisions are made through a combination of both cognition and emotion but Science aside, most people tend to think one is better than the other. As uh, for the scenario above, following your heart versus following your head, listening to your head may lead to more tangible success, but not following your heart increases the risk of regret and so this is you know where I am with, with, with Dulcinea that either way uh, that, that I follow my heart and, and it leads to regret 
and, and, and then I finally cave in like I did again last night. My heart raises the white flag, hands it over to my head. I surrender, and, and, and uh, I will be regretting it for the rest of my life. Any choice that you make, uh, I, I'm uh, going to end up regretting it. And, and I am not a man uh, who has many regrets, but there's, I, there's no way out. Uh, you know, it's just like the end of the world. I, I am fucked on this, and there is no way out whichever path I, I take uh, w w with Dulcinea. I'm fucked. Uh, what is the difference between following your mind and heart? The mind often takes on the role of the logical one, helping you decide if it is a smart choice to do whatever it is you want to do. Emotion often leads the heart often leads the heart, on the other hand, which, as we all know, can make it difficult to make a clear decision. Well, my, my head has known since day one that I had no business uh, ever meeting Dulcinea. Uh, the, the minute I found out that she was married, I should have dropped her like a hot potato. Uh, and, and then, it, it, you know, obviously I, I was unaware of her mental illness, uh, but it didn't take long uh, to for for me to figure out the diagnosis since she is the the poster child of uh, of borderline personality disorder, but by that time I was fucked. Uh... Anyway. What are some more to wrap this up? Uh, your heart, what does it mean to follow your heart and not your head? Your heart <clears throat> is saying this is what you are meant to do. This is the start of your path. Grab it with both hands and go for it. Your head on the other hand, is saying something different. Be wary. There. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Do you think so? Uh, should I follow my heart or my head in matters of love? Hmm. First and foremost, Listen to your heart. Your emotions and feelings are important indicators of what you want and need in a partner. However, it is equally important to remain cautious and not ignore any red flags if something does not feel right, meaning I guess in your mind, it is not. You know, I have uh, I often said that uh, Dulcinea, I, I started noticing immediately in the relationship that uh, Dulcinea has more red flags flying off of her than a red square in Moscow. And I actually uh, learned something about uh, uh, about bipolar that I that I had never learned today and it's called the bipolar eye. E-Y-E, not the letter I. 
the bipolar eye, and it's talking about the, this look that uh, that bipolar, particularly we're talking about women here, uh, th this look that they literally have in their eye, and they actually were showing examples of, of women, you know, suffering from severe bipolar disorder, showing pictures of their eyes. And I said, my God, where have I seen that before? Well, I am not going to uh, share. I, I have one picture of, uh, of Dulcinea uh, I have, you know, I have some of her old videos, but I, I have one picture that she has ever sent me in her entire life. Four and a half years, this woman that I love has sent me one picture of herself, and good God, the borderline personality I. I, I, I mean, she is right out of the textbook. The, this look that uh, borderline personalities, uh, which are, the vast majority of which are women, and uh, I, I, I mean, it, it, it really is spooky. As I say, I'm it, as hard as it is for me to resist. I'm I'm not going to to show a, 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 a selection of borderline personality eyes and and, and then uh, show a picture of Dulcinea's eyes. I mean, it is downright creepy. So anyway. Uh, I am having a talk with the Mushroom God here starting in about an hour and a half. Uh, I am uh, going to, to take my one gram of uh, psilocybin, dried psilocybin mushroom at, uh, at you know, for sunset and uh, get to watch the sunset and the full moon rise. Now, of course, on this beautiful Friday afternoon at sunset, there's going to be all kinds of people down at the dock. And uh, so I don't know whether I should be down there tripping with all of my trump tarred neighbors on the dock, but I'm going to have a long time discussion with the mushroom guide uh, what happens when you are when you're trying to follow your heart and the person you need to follow their heart with you for whatever reason does not want to get on the path with heart with you, how do you, uh, how do you resolve this? You know, how do you reach a balance between your heart and your head and, and move along with, with the rest of your fucking life? Uh, because until I, I, I figure this out, I realize uh, I have no chance of, no chance of, of finding a, uh, a female partner who uh, wants to, whose idea of her path with heart is my path with heart, and we get on the same path together. I it, it, I can't do it until I've uh, disentangled myself 
from uh, this spider's web that I have been trapped in for the past four and a half years. So wish me luck and we will see what the mushroom god has to say. I will uh, give you an update tomorrow. Get out there and ask the mushroom god to help you figure out whatever is troubling you while you still can. Bye guys.